Welcome to Graft. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how you can change the color of your artboard, the background color that is. So let's take a look. So if you want to change your artboard color in Adobe Illustrator, you can do so by going to File and choosing Document Setup. Now here you can choose whichever color you want. Uh, you click the top box and then you choose the color you would like your background or your artboard to have and you click ok make sure you have the simulate colored paper option checked and then press ok now as you will see it doesn't change i'm not sure why it doesn't change i have searched quite a lot for this but i can't find the reason the only thing i do know is if you go to artboards and you can find that one under window if you go to artboards and you select your artboard and you click this menu icon and you click on artboard options, it refreshes and then it has the color you just chose. So yeah, not sure why you have to take this extra step, but it works. So, And each new artboard you create has the same color you selected. Now, do keep in mind that this color is just um, a simulated background color. It will not be printed out on paper or be yeah, shown in your definitive artwork when you save it. So I can show you, um, for example, if you would export it. And I do like to choose Save for Web. So as you can see, PNG is still um, transparent. And if you take JPEG, it's still white. So this color you've chosen is just simulated for your for you to work on but it's not shown if you print it or save it if you want a color that is shown you can choose to make a rectangle and then give that rectangle a color and because it now is an extra layer it will also show be shown when you save your file as you can see it's red now and it isn't transparent anymore so you don't have to choose png or jpeg it stays red because you have an extra layer with a color on top of it so that's the quick way how you can change your artboard color in a simulated way and a quick way how you can change it in a way that's also shown in the saved or printed document be sure to let me know in the comments below if you liked this video. If you have any questions, you can also ask them there. And if you liked it, be sure to also press that thumbs up button and maybe press that subscribe button with a little bell icon if you want to see more of my videos. So for now, stay healthy and safe and I hope to see you in the next one.